every once in a while, because of the hardships that we go through in the dunya, whether it's financial or marital or health, we need to be reminded about the prize. We need to be reminded about the reward. We need to be reminded about Jannah. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told us that in Jannah there are 100 levels. Between one level and the other is the distance between the heavens and the earth. We're not going to talk about all the levels. We're going to take one level and discuss today. And this level is called Al-Ghuraf, which is translated to lofty mansions. The Ghuraf is mentioned in the Quran in many places. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in Surah Al-Zumar, The ones who have taqwa of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will get those ghuraf. And those ghuraf, Allah said, on top of them there are ghuraf. Mansions on top of mansions. And rivers run beneath. So what is this ghuraf? Rasulullah sallallahu he said, the people of Jannah, they look up and see the people of ghuraf. Just like you in this dunya, look up and stare at the stars. So the people of Jannah are looking up just like we look at the stars and enjoy the beauty of the stars. They are in Jannah and they are looking at the people of Ghuraf. So in Jannah, Rasulullah said that there are Ghuraf where you see the outside from the inside and the inside from the outside. Now you can imagine the Sahaba are so eager to know what should I do to deserve this VIP status. A Bedouin stood up and he said, Ya Rasulullah, who are these ghuraf for? What should I do to deserve the ghuraf? And listen to the answer of the best man ever created. Four things, Wallahi, they are very easy. Alayhi salatu wasalam said, Those ghuraf are for the ones who speak gently and they fast regularly and they feed others and they pray at night while everyone else is sleeping. Let's take them one by one. لمن أطاب الكلام For the one whose kalam is tayyib. Ya akhi, give your wife sadaqa. Kind words. May Allah reward you. May Allah bless you. May Allah protect you. The closer the people to you, the more they are deserving of your kind words. Your parents come number one. وَقُلْ لَهُمَا قَوْلًا كَرِيمًا You have to think before you speak to your parents. Is this word generous? Is this word honorable? It has to be. Then you utter it. Otherwise, stop. Now we have kids rolling their eyes, slamming doors, yelling at their parents. My brother, you are committing a major sin. Similarly, the wife, when the husband comes back home, welcome home, honey. I was looking forward to seeing you. May Allah bless you. May Allah protect you. Kind words. Wallahi, these words will make the husband forget all the trouble he had at work. But if he comes home and from the moment he walks in, the list of complaints is ready. Your father did this, your mother did this, your son did this, your sister called him. It's ready. How does he gonna look forward to coming home if every time he comes home, all he hears is complaints? Kalima tayyiba, a good kind of word. The welcome that you have for your husband when he first comes home, determine the outcome of that night. You see your brother, start the salam, ya akhi. Some people see you, sometimes they put their head in the ground and they don't wanna even salam. And you don't know how many sisters they tell me, Sheikh, we see each other in Walmart, in any kind of mall, supermarket. And you see the sisters, when they see another sister, they turn away. Why, ya akhti? Why? You have so many hasanat and you don't want any more? Second, Adam as siyam Constantly they fast, not only in Ramadan. Rasulullah said, Whomsoever fasts Ramadan and follows it by six days of Shawwal, as if he or she fasted the whole year. And if I do it every single year, as if I fasted all my life. Rasulullah said, Whomsoever fasts three days of every month, similar reward, as if they have fasted the whole year. How? Three, Hasana multiplied by ten, three times ten is thirty. If I do that every single month, that means I fasted the whole year. Allahu Akbar. What are the best three days, Ya Rasulullah, to fast? 13, 14, 15 of the Hijri month. Adam as siyam to constantly and regularly fast Monday, Thursday, three wide days, Ashura, Arafah, days of Dil Hijjah, any optional fasting. And he fed others. Anytime there's potluck in the community, he's the first one to bring food. Anytime there's somebody who's wanna sponsor some kids, some orphans, even some party at home, he's the first one, the food is on me. And does not have to be only to the poor. Rasulullah used to tell the Sahaba, every time you make soup, every time you cook stew, 
make the soup extra so you can give your neighbor. A neighbor doesn't have to be poor, right? Could even be a non-Muslim. And the last one is And he or she prays at night while everyone is sleeping. Salatul Qiyam. Anytime you mention the word Qiyam, people think that I have to get up for four or five hours. No, no, no. Any Salat after you finish the Sunnah of Isha all the way to Fajr is considered Qiyam. Whomsoever get up and perform Qiyam with 10 ayah, Fatiha and uh, Ikhlas. He is not heedless. Alhamdulillah, he's safe. And whomsoever does Qiyam with a hundred ayah, he's from the devout ones. And whomsoever does Qiyam with a thousand ayah, he is from the muqantareen. The amount of hasanat is as big as Uhud. So you could start with two rak'ah after you finish your sunnah al-Isha. Two rak'ah with the intention of Qiyam. You want to do the upgrade, you sleep and you get up before Fajr. Fajr 6 a.m., you get up 5.15, 5.30. This is exactly what the hadith said. Sallu bil-layl, they pray at night. Wan nasu niyam, everybody's sleeping. Two rak'ah that will light up your grave. Two rak'ah is so heavy in the sight of Allah. As a matter of fact, in one of the hadith, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala boasts to the malaika. And he said, my servant left his comfort of the bed, left the company of his spouse and get up to pray for me. And he doesn't have to. I make you a witness. I have forgiven all his sins. Allahu Akbar. Salat al-Qiyam, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, hadith in Sahih Muslim, the best salat after the fard is Salat al-Qiyam. Allahumma ja'alna min ahli al-ghuraf.